Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the most gripping and intense moments from around the world. Today, we dive into a dramatic naval confrontation that unfolded in the South China Sea. In this high-stakes showdown, U.S. Navy warships engaged a fleeing Chinese Navy warship, raising questions about international relations and the balance of power in the region. Before we jump into the action, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates. Now let's set sail into the heart of the South China Sea. As the sun rises over the vast expanse of the South China Sea, tensions between superpowers are on full display. The U.S. Navy, on a routine patrol mission, suddenly encounters a Chinese Navy warship that appears to be fleeing the area. What unfolds next is a gripping showdown that captures the world's attention. Our brave men and women aboard the U.S. Navy warships quickly move to intercept the fleeing Chinese vessel. The atmosphere is tense, and every move is calculated. Both sides are keenly aware of the global implications of this encounter. As the U.S. Navy warships draw nearer, they issue stern warnings to the Chinese Navy warship demanding it halt its retreat. But the Chinese vessel continues to maneuver strategically, avoiding direct confrontation. A day after China said it drove a U.S. Navy destroyer away from Beijing-claimed waters in the South China Sea, the U.S. 7th Fleet said the same warship sailed through those waters to challenge the Chinese claims. The guided missile destroyer U.S. Milius asserted navigational rights and freedoms in the South China Sea near the Paracel Islands, consistent with international law. A statement from 7th Fleet spokesperson Lt. Jake Luca Bakic said, The warship conducted what the U.S. Navy calls a Freedom of Navigation Operation, or FONOP, Bakic said, challenging the restrictions on innocent passage imposed by the People's Republic of China. PRC, Taiwan, and Vietnam. All three claim the parasols, known as the Tishas in China, a group of about 130 small atolls, the biggest of which are home to Chinese military bases. The U.S. statement also said the Milius challenged China's claim to straight baselines enclosing the parasols, meaning Beijing's claims to waters between the islands, even when those waters are outside the internationally recognized 12 nautical mile limit from a coastline for territorial waters. China claims almost all of the vast South China Sea as part of its territorial waters, including many distant islands and inlets in the disputed body of water, many of which Beijing has militarized. Other claimants besides Taiwan and Vietnam include Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines, which has seen a UN tribunal rule in its favor in a dispute with Beijing over islands in the Spratly Group. But Beijing has rejected the UN ruling and built up military bases on those disputed islands in the Spratlys known as the Nancha Islands in China as it has done in the Paracels. On Friday, China reacted angrily to the presence of the US warship near the islands it claims. The actions of the U.S. military have seriously violated China's sovereignty and security and seriously violated international law. Tan Kifei, spokesperson for the Defense Ministry, said in a statement, The guided missile destroyer U.S. Milius broke into China's Sisha territorial waters again without the approval of the Chinese government. Undermining peace and stability in the South China Sea, Tan said, on Thursday, Beijing said the Milius was driven away from the Paracels by People's Liberation Army forces, a claim that was called false by the U.S. 7th Fleet. Beijing has made similar claims after other FONOPs, which the U.S. conducts regularly around the Paracels and the Spratlys to the south. The Paracels are located east of Da Nang, Vietnam, and south of China's Hainan Island. Beijing regularly makes statements that any U.S. Navy operations in the South China Sea inflame tensions and show that Washington and its partners who keep a naval presence in the waterway 
are damaging the region's security. Then and now, Washington is consistent in its statements about its South China Sea operations. The operations demonstrate that the United States will fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows regardless of the location of excessive maritime claims and regardless of current events. Friday's statement, like many others before it, said, In recent years, the South China Sea has emerged as a major potential flashpoint in the Asia-Pacific. Not only does the strategic waterway hold vast resources of fish, oil and gas, but about a third of global shipping passes through it worth about $3.4 trillion in 2016, according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies CSIS. China Power Project China also conducts regular military exercises in much of the South China Sea and maintains a large presence of Coast Guard and fishing vessels in the disputed waters which has frequently stoked tensions with other claimants. Now let's dive deeper into the geopolitical implications of this dramatic standoff. The South China Sea has been a hot of international tension, with territorial disputes and freedom of navigation concerns taking center stage. The world watches closely as the U.S. Navy asserts its presence in the region, reinforcing its commitment to maintaining international waters. But what does this incident mean for U.S.-China relations and the balance of power in this strategic area? As the standoff continues, we'll keep you updated on the latest developments in this unfolding story. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to Folger Channel for more thrilling updates from around the world. Until next time, stay informed, stay safe, and keep exploring the stories that shape our world.